Hi guys and welcome again to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do the actual setup on the computer for the school mining rig right here. He has four 1060 GeForce video cards with six gigabyte and we're gonna power it up and see how much we can make from NiceHash and from Ethereum. I will also show actual measurements on how much wattage it takes and how much the estimate price for the electricity to run this thing. So I did a remote setup so we can actually re access it remotely and I'll put it where it's supposed to be and we're gonna go ahead and check it out. We are now remotely accessing the rig. We have antivirus, uh, driver booster, chrome, specky, and uh, specky to see the temperatures and to see, yeah, yeah, I use it to see the temperature of every single card. So if we open it, you can see one of the cards is actually not working it came dead out of the box so we're gonna mine with three today and uh, temperature is pretty low everything looks great let's start with nice hash so what we're gonna do is download nice hash after it's downloaded we're gonna unzip it I will take nice hash to my desktop just because it will be easier for me to use it we're gonna start nice hash now the first time you're gonna use nice hash you're gonna have to download a couple of things um, all the miners have to be downloaded to the computer and also testing need to be done in order for you to use it. It actually checks what's the best most efficient currency to mine at the time and they pay you in bitcoins which is kinda cool so let's check it out. Okay we're now gonna open NiceHash it's now gonna go ahead and do a little downloading of everything. Now what I like about NiceHash is that I can actually also mine with the CPU but first you have to do a benchmark and also change the worker name so and then I'm also gonna accept this and this is my Bitcoin address for the payout I'm gonna paste it right here I change to USA because that's my location and let's go ahead and do a benchmark benchmark might take a little bit of time and um, yep you can do a quick one for just to do it real quick you can do a standard or precise that will find a little better uh, more accuracy about the type of currency the best is mining but I'm gonna go ahead with standard there's not that many mining uh, you know types anyways so now that we finished the benchmark I tested it and I found out that uh, this one right here is the best uh, one to mine with my 1060 even though some other ones were very close and let's start and see how it looks like what I do like about the nice hash is that um, if if something happens and the uh, window closed down it will open it automatically and kind of keep things running without you kind of have to watch it and also it's kind of cool that you can mine with your CPU which is 20 you know 10 11 cents uh, per day not a lot but still it's kind of cool that it has that feature too and it's gonna take a little bit and it will show you the full potential once it shows the full potential we're gonna go ahead and start to overclock it and see how much we can overclock on nice hash and uh, see what's the effect so now we reach full potential with the nice hash mining and as you can see that's about four dollars and something it's like 120 bucks a month that's not bad it's about the same as the ethereum mining now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the uh, gigabyte um overclock software to see if i can use my presettings users and uh, overclock it and see if I can push a little bit more. Okay, the software is now open. Let's go ahead and see if we can set up a little higher uh, performance. So I'm applying my overclock settings that I tested out. All right, again, we reached full potential, but this time we got 67 mega hashes and we increase it to about uh, four and four dollars and 65 cents per day. So we're getting, we're definitely getting like 10 to 15 percent extra from what the video cards will get with uh, standard settings. We can also check the uh, specy. So you can see that specy, the temperatures are very decent, 61 degrees for the CPU and uh, you know less than 70 for the GPUs. So they're definitely not stressing out or anything like that. It's all running really, really well. Um, yeah. So I think that's a better way to hash just because the backbone of the software kind of like keep things up and running all the time and adjusting the difficulty as it goes 
and kind of like you know it needs less maintenance because I noticed when I mine with a regular ethereum miner it always it, it crashes sometimes I have to watch it this thing I can just turn on and let go and everything will be okay now let's go ahead and check out a regular ethereum mining and see how that goes now that we finish with nice hash we're gonna go ahead and go and do ethereum mining so first we're gonna go to ethereumpool.co and then download the cuda miner.zip for the nvidia card once you do that you can unzip it after you unzip it basically you can change the address of your payout to your ethereum address this is my address right here um, there's also a public link you can share with people to show and also check yourself how much we're mining all you have to do is just um, open up the this file right here double click it and it will start mining so I'm mining right now and uh, I'm using the gigabyte software to change each individual graphics card overclock setup and I'm gonna go ahead I have to keep, keep playing with it and see so the system doesn't crash and I get the most amount of ethereums so it's something that you have to keep kind of like play back and forth until you reach the perfect settings so I think this is pretty good right now it does take a while until you see results on this screen so you do have to wait maybe half an hour even for the first time but once it's keep going then it's much easier to see results so I'll, sh I'll come back and I'll show you guys how it looks like once it's uh, the statistics are here okay so I've been mining with Ethereum for a little bit and we're gonna see how much we're gonna make from mining directly from Ethereum as you can see it's gonna make about four dollars a day 120 bucks a month so it's a little less than nice hash the nice hash has a little more because you can mine the CPU and also regardless I think it mines a little more because it's 140 bucks a month from nice hash so I would recommend using nice hash for mining those video cards for now but it might change it depends on um, you know difficulty it depends on the price of the different coins so you kind of have to you know go back and forth and check what's the best way to mine it okay guys as you can see we are running at 400 watts uh, 370 something like that I overclocked them as much as I could and they're getting about 61 62 mega hashes from three 1060s everything is working beautifully so unfortunately one of the video cards is not working so I had to return it back to Amazon um, not a lot of heat there is heat coming out not too much heat it's very very quiet I mean I will try to get the microphone close that's how quiet it is pretty much and um, it's it was not too hard to set up I really really like the way the mount is um, designed for any type of video card because you can adjust the um, this is the support bracket you can adjust it three different levels so in case you have like a short video card um, you can put the bracket right here to support it but this is a long one so I put it all the way here um, 1060s are known to be very very efficient I mean you know three video cards running at overclock all the way up it's 360 that's 370 watts that's nothing so right now it takes 400 watts I'm running all three video cards we can actually set up I already set up the amount of money that I pay for electricity so let's see how much we're gonna pay so this is per month $51 per month for the electricity now regarding income are we getting about $120 uh, to $140 a month so that's about uh, you know a little less than half goes for electricity if I'm running this 24 7 a year I'll, I'm gonna pay $624 something like that overall very very smooth setup very quiet machine it doesn't take a lot of watts to run it it's about 120 per card and it's super efficient I mean you know from that little power I get a lot of punch there's not a lot of heat coming out and uh, very very quiet alright guys so that was the video regarding this rig how to set it up and uh, how much energy it takes and how much you expect to, to gain I truly like this stuff you know it's not it's not too loud and uh, it actually gives you a lot of benefit and I learned so much by building those uh, even though it was a rough ride it was a good one 
Don't forget to like and subscribe below. I will also add the links for this product so that you can see how everything that I built. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or everything else you want me to do, so don't forget to leave a comment and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.